The house is a uh, remembrance of the family when you go back, and now if the house is gone, it's going to be different. Burnt remains of a house that was once a home for Mary, Michael, and Jennifer Short. Mary and Michael both shot in the head by an unknown killer. Jennifer also shot in the head, but taken. Her remains found in a creek a few weeks later. I just hate it because it's gone. Harding Crumb's family purchased the property soon after the murders. While they never lived inside, other families did. It's been empty, though, for the last two months. It's thankful nobody was living in the house and it done this. Once we arrived, we, uh, it was heavy fire showing from the A side in front of the house. For first responders, it was a matter of getting the flames down. For the community, it's something more. Well, it changed my life at the time because I was their neighbor and realizing the whole family had been murdered and taken out, little girls taken out of the area and found later, it made you realize no matter how small the area, it can happen anywhere. Ray Reynolds has held a memorial ride for Jennifer every year since 2002. Now that the last part of them is gone, it's one less place they can be remembered. If anything, I guess maybe we just put a big cross right there where the house was at as in remembrance of the family. A flag hangs in the backyard now, half stacked from the smoke and the wind.